Live Late Night. We hope you're doing well tonight. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. Presidential candidate Nikki Haley spoke to her supporters after losing the New Hampshire primary last night to former President Trump and said the race is, quote, far from over. And she's right. It's this far from over. <laughs> That's right, former President Trump won yesterday's New Hampshire primary while Nikki Haley finished second. Haley gave a concession speech while Trump gave a concussion speech. <laughs> In his speech after winning the New Hampshire primary, former President Trump told the crowd, quote, this is not your typical victory speech. Oh, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. This will not be one of my regular measured responses where I stay on topic and don't threaten to kill anyone. Now, please welcome an alien I stole from Area 51. <laughs> During his victory speech last night, former President Trump mocked presidential candidate Nikki Haley's outfit. Seriously, your pants look like two sky dancers from a used car lot. <laughs> Every one of your suits looks like the last scene in Big. <laughs> Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell declined to tell reporters yesterday whether he will endorse former President Trump. All right, well, I guess it'll just be one of those enduring mysteries, like, what color is the sky? <laughs> President Biden's campaign released a new line of merchandise last night with the slogan, together we will defeat Donald Trump again. <laughs> oh. Democrats, why are you so bad at this stuff? <laughs> that is not a slogan. That's like an affirmation you tape on your bathroom mirror. Slogans don't have multiple punctuation marks in them. <laughs> a slogan is like, let's go, or vote or die. This is a sentence so awkward <laughs> that you think, oh, it must spell out a cool acronym, and then it doesn't. <laughs> Unless tw -da 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 is a cool acronym. <laughs> also, you can't end your slogan with again when his slogan ends with again. <laughs> Democrats, I'm begging you, please suck less. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. Democrats, we suck less. <laughs> the House Ethics Committee... The House Ethics Committee has reportedly reached out to several new witnesses on a, in its investigation of Florida Congressman Matt Gates. said the witnesses, sure, I mean, anything to get out of math class. <laughs> Disgraced former Congressman George Santos appeared in federal court yesterday with two new lawyers, both him. The New York State Cannabis Control Board yesterday unveiled the first rules for residents to legally grow pot at home because if people who grow weed at home are interested in anything, it's rules. <laughs> Airbnb announced yesterday it's donated $10 million to more than 120 nonprofits, which works out to over $30 million when you add in the cleaning fee. <laughs> and finally, according to the latest numbers, the most expensive ticket for this Sunday's Kansas City Chiefs Baltimore Ravens game is $30,000. At those rates, even Taylor Swift is going to watch it from a bar. And that was a monologue, everybody. We are off and running.